communication keys to successful patient service by Sharon Lee Parker, Director of the Patient Experience and Hospitality Training at the John Thera Cancer Center. How you say what you say can make all the difference. Your verbal and your body language are two essential keys for successful communication. From your handshake to your posture and your warm smile, it is up to you to make certain that everyone you come in contact with will feel at ease, whether you have a mask on or not. How we convey the message and what words we choose to express compassion, understanding, and caring toward the patient and family members can make all the difference. When you are meeting a patient or family member over the phone with a particular issue or problem, remember that they only hear your voice. Tone, diction, empathy, concern, and caring all play a major role in problem resolution. And today, since many of us are wearing the mask, how we sound, how our voice is conveyed, what our eyes are doing, whether they're smiling like your mouth is, can make all the difference. Because heightened emotions occur often when any serious medical diagnosis arises. It must be taken into account when discussing billing or other sensitive financial issues. Choose your words carefully and try to be helpful in every way possible. Remember, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. And it is often said that you make the first impression within the first 15 seconds. Wow. How you say what you say can make all the difference. When you can convey the attitude of, I understand what you are going through, and we will strive to bring you to the best possible conclusion gives the person confidence that his issues are being addressed in a positive way. Always remember that you represent HUMC and the JTCC wherever you are. Your attitude, either over the phone or in person, is critical and really does make a huge difference. We don't have problems. We have situations, and our goal is to find the solution. When you look at the gentleman's picture and you see the consternation on his face, you know that something kind and caring coming out of us can make all the difference and turn that despair into hope. Listening is a critical key to successful communication. It's one of the most important skills that everyone can improve upon. Listening is an opportunity to learn. When you open your ears, remember to open your mind as well. Don't come to conclusions until you have heard what the other person has to say. When you talk, you represent what you already know. When you listen, you often learn something. Remember, this is much more than a job. It is a passion, helping people get through perhaps the most difficult time in their lives. The total patient experience is of great concern for everyone 
who was involved with patients, not only because it reflects upon the reputation of HUMC and the JTCC, but also because of financial reimbursement, now based in large part by the results of patient surveys. Press Ganey evaluates what we do often on a weekly basis and others do now as well. It is in our best interest to be consistently at the highest possible level of performance. And whatever hospital you may be working in, somebody is evaluating you as well. I always say, aim for the A. Why not? You could go through life as the C, and it's okay. But why not aim for the top? That's what I believe. A plus every day. Going the extra mile and hearing other people's concerns is vitally important and addressing any situation that is annoying, disturbing, or seemingly unsolvable is paramount to our continued success and will bring a smile to our patients. Just look at these beautiful smiles on these ladies. From worrier to warrior to winner. How precious life is, of that we can agree. Imagine if you could live longer and see. The world as a healer of all human wrong, where people could join and share hope in our song. One day we'll all feel healthy. One day we'll all feel strong. One day we'll feel that in this world, all of us belong. We need to thank our researchers who work so hard every day, finding cures for our oncologists and showing us the way to beating all these cancers and sharing what they know so every human being has a chance to live and grow. Every time there is a breakthrough, we need the world to hear that cancer as we know it will surely disappear. One day we'll have a country that perhaps is cancer free and we can share the knowledge round the world for all to see because from worrier to winner is what we wanna be. So now let's think and plan for the day when all the bad cells will just fade away with new light to shine, with hope in the air, the cancers that cause us no more despair, that cures are nearer, we just have to grasp new research and ideas that are coming to pass. One day these critters will be out the door and we may live longer because there'll be no more. Families can gather healthy and strong, knowing these bad cells are where they belong, out of our bodies in a faraway place, never disturbing our great human race. Till it is over, know what you can do. Be a warrior with cancer until you come through to winning your life back where it belongs and helping the others to join in our song. One day we'll all be healthy. One day we'll all be strong. One day we'll feel in this world that all of us belong. So let's obliterate these cancers and let them all be gone. Hackensack Meridian, our home away from home, where brains and innovation are nurtured fed and grown. Thank you so much.